High definition liposuction of the abdomen is a variation of regular liposuction of the abdomen. So I'll kind of break down the differences and explain how it's done. So normal liposuction or any liposuction involves removing unwanted subcutaneous fat from a specific area. So if you can pinch it, that means it's fat that I could suck out. Um, if we're just doing regular abdominal liposuction, my goal is to make your abdomen as flat with the best contour I possibly can. Now, if we're doing high def liposuction, it gets a little bit different. So what's different is I need to be able to feel your underlying muscles. So I need to be able to mark on your skin where the lines are between your muscles. And if it's the abdomen, we're talking about your rectus abdominis muscles. So I need to be able to draw out essentially your six pack on your skin. And then what I do is I specifically remove fat along those same contours. So high definition liposuction is essentially a technique to use your layer of fat that already exists and selectively remove fat from that layer to accentuate your underlying muscles. So I'm gonna remove extra fat on what would be the concavities or the low points of your rectus abdominis muscles. And I'm gonna leave a little bit more fat on top of where the muscles are convex or sticking out. So that's essentially what high definition liposuction is. It's a little bit more technical, takes a little bit more time, um, and I'm trying to accentuate the underlying muscle contours of your body by selectively removing a little bit more fat out of various areas of your abdomen. Um, so to be a candidate for this, I have to be able to feel your muscles underneath. The other thing I wanna note is that you need to maintain a healthy lifestyle after high definition liposuction because if you don't and you gain more weight and stop working out, you're gonna have uneven fat on your abdomen, meaning where we selectively removed more fat and intentionally, so where I intentionally removed more fat, leaving less fat behind, and where I intentionally remove less fat and leave more fat behind, that's gonna look odd if you gain a bunch of weight. So if you want high definition liposuction, which is awesome, I love it, you have to pretty much commit to being healthy for as long as possible. I wanna say for the rest of your life, but that's unrealistic. So commit to being healthy for as long as you possibly can and know that when you can't keep up a normal physique and exercise routine, your abdomen might look a little weird. So that's sort of how I think about high definition liposuction. Now, if you do that, can we smooth it out with liposuction later? I don't know, I've never had to do that, so I don't know. In general, there's a lot of contours we can fix with liposuction by again, sucking out more from certain areas, sucking out less from other areas, adding fat to deficient areas. Oftentimes there's a solution to whatever problem that may be, but I want people who get high definition liposuction or, or who are interested in it to know that those contours that are left behind after high def liposuction look great when you're in shape because they accentuate your muscles. But if you are not in shape and you get fat, it's not gonna look normal. So keep that in mind. To learn more, check out our website where you can upload your photos and concerns as a virtual consult. You can also check out our price estimator to get pricing information for all the various procedures we offer. And finally, if you'd like to have your questions answered on a future podcast or Q&A video session like this, please leave a message on our SpeakPipe. You can go to our blog page and our SpeakPipe is located there. Thanks for listening.